going to mm. need to slap on the sun cream this afternoon, Jenny. You have plenty of warm sunshine. Certainly had lots of that this morning. Although there have been some exceptions, mainly in this northeastern corner of Norfolk where we've had a bit more in the way of cloud, but even here, plenty of sunshine for this afternoon. But it's not going to be cloudless skies everywhere. We have got some bits and pieces of cloud out there still at the moment, and they'll drift through during this afternoon. And we could get a few showers too, mainly towards the wash. But uh, most of us staying dry and temperatures will possibly inland up to 28. Can't rule out 29 Celsius in some spots with mainly light southerly winds, which may just touch moderate to fresh at times this afternoon. So tonight, after a largely sunny end to the day, largely dry, although as this area of cloud, a band of cloud pushes in from the west, it's associated with a cold front, it could produce a little bit of light rain in places. Lowest temperatures tonight, well, 14 to 16 degrees Celsius, but many of us staying a few degrees warmer than that. So perhaps not the most comfortable night for sleeping for some of us. And then tomorrow, the cold front that brings us that overnight cloud trundles off into the North Sea. So it'll take the band of cloud with it. And behind, well, a mixture of sunshine, but also a scattering of showers. But the showers won't be for everyone. And probably tomorrow, a lot of fine and dry weather out there. With top temperatures of around 24 or 25 Celsius, but we could still see 26 Celsius in the best of any sunshine with light to moderate southwesterly winds perhaps touching fresh at times. And then it's the weekend. It does look like it's going to be cooler, quite breezy, though southwesterlies could gust up to 30 miles an hour at times. Largely fine and dry, but on both days we can't rule out a shower. But showers more likely on Monday and Tuesday. But again, on both of those days, a lot of dry weather. And it looks like it becomes completely dry on Wednesday and Thursday as high pressure builds in again. And after tonight, overnight temperatures close to average.